This is quite a lot quieter, man. Do not adjust your television set or whatever you're watching this on. We'll see how it is when I actually get in-game, but let me change the game around to Earth Defense Forts 5. I'm also really curious about um, World Brothers, but it looks like that's a console-only thing. It looked also originally like it was going to be just a Japanese release, but it looks like they are porting it over to the West, which is awesome. But it looks to be Switch and PS4 only, which is less awesome. It's also made by the same company that was doing the Iron Rain, which... I think Iron Rain's a bit of a guilty pleasure. It's it's not good, like, at all, but it's still... still okay? Uh, the mouse is a lot nicer in this, the UI is a lot cleaner, it looks like more proper 10. I apparently have a specific wing diver thing going on. 88.5 up... Uh, well... 89 hours I've got in my original save. Two hours in this wing diver save. Fuck the wing diver save. Get out of here. You're out of here. Go, shoot. This is... Stream. St stream. I know how to type. You shush. Nice. Offline, I do also have the mission packs. I have not checked out the mission packs. Mission packs are brutal in EDF, man. I'd like to check them out, though. We'll see. Have evidence to the contrary with what now? My memory is also phenomenal. <laughs> I absolutely know what I said 12 seconds ago. My ability to type. Oh, it's great. It's phenomenal. You okay? Uh, he's okay. Same general everything. It's the same game, kind of but just better. Thirty-five. Maybe we bumped this up to like 17, 15, 17, 30. How's that for you? Is that, does that sound okay? Screen vibration, I think we'll turn that off though. Rotation speed, typically a little bit lower. Rotation lerp, I don't know what it means with lerp. But I'm gonna put a bit of lerp on. Let's get a little bit of lerpage. Just a little though, not too much. Camera effects, we can turn those off. I don't need those on. That just uh, hijacks your camera periodically to show you things. Same four classes. Um, I... Th I, th I think... Uh, God, I, I honestly can't decide. <laughs> I really don't know. Um... Maybe Fencer to start? Hey, Mr. Zeddy Pangu, welcome, welcome. I showed off all of them a little bit um, at the towards the end of last stream. Yeah, slash random four, right? God, I wish. I need a four-sided coin. Yeah, you're you're in time for some EDF Madden. We just did a little bit of 4.1, but I'm missing EDF 5 too much, so we're, we're back to EDF 5. And uh, you're just in time for the very start of EDF 5. Hey! But in the in the future, I'm going to be switching over to EDF5 around uh, an hour and a half ago, roughly. A couple hours into the stream, I'll be switching over to EDF for a bit, and we'll just see how it goes. Mm. I think this is just the general same starting stuff. Hand gatling, the deflection shield, the spear, yeah, nothing too fancy with all that, that's all fine. Gotta change our color though, holy shit. I don't know what I'm looking at here, but I hate it. Yeah, everybody's got the civilian outfit at the start, um, because you're not actually part of EDF. You start the mission as just somebody checking out their base and stuff, which is kind of different. This game starts off with the... <clears throat> How to put it? Whoops. It starts off sillier, so you more kind of know that the game recognizes that it's silly a lot earlier than you do in EDF 4.1, because in EDF 4, you you get the impression that it kind of wants to be serious, but it actually knows it's ridiculous. It doesn't make that obvious until really subtly throughout. 
and then at the end becomes really serious because it's like, holy shit, I gotta kill these things, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, and it's just frantic and hellish. But in this, it starts off and it's like, no, yeah, this is like a complete fucking joke. Um, but it still becomes just as serious. So, you fall into the cockpit, as it were? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. A little bit in this, yeah. Um, oh yeah, support equipment with the heavies as well. You get, um, I think every class. Well, not air raiders. They get vehicles and stuff. The other classes, though, they get, like, enhancements that they can put on in addition to their weapons. So for these guys, it'd be uh, things to help you maybe move around a little bit or to reduce the the recoil of certain weapons and stuff. And for wing divers, it's more about, like, their energy core and how efficient it is and if you want to fly around a bunch and you totally can and... Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. And yeah, the... The voice lines in this, yeah. If you like the if you like the B movie thing, this is holy shit, so good. Can I change model right away? Oh, I can. Okay, we'll follow the mission. Nice. Um, audio wise, we'll see how it goes. Today you're assigned to base two two eight. After arrival, please follow the staff's instruction and confirm your duties. The base will open to the public this afternoon. EDF has been putting great efforts in building a better relationship with the neighborhood over the years. A large number of visitors are expected. Security and safety will be your primary concern. But you know what I love? What are the visitors? Or as, who are the visitors? Or what are the visitors? Let's go normal. Doesn't really matter for the first mission. You must be the newbie. Shall we start? Our job today is to move cargo. We're gonna move the cargo from the basement to the ground floor. What you're wearing is a powered exoskeleton. It has great strength, so you can move the cargo all by yourself. I heard it was developed for military use and has the same power output as a tank. Nice. Welcome to Starship Troopers, people with all boy closet yeti playing Johnny Rico. <laughs> Thank you, Kieran. Yeah, very much so. Change facing with the mouse. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mouse wheel button to jump. Oh, yeah. Right, we can jump. You passed. Let's get to work then. Pipe. I'll show you the way. Follow me. If EDF on ice. <laughs> Keep up. The bottom of the base is huge. It's easy yeah. to get lost. Huh. Huh. Yeah. Monsters! Run! Run! Don't worry, it's fine. I like the wing diver civilian outfit because they're just like what, like a fireworks specialist or something, right? Like they do flying. Uh... Flying whatever shows? Yeah, you can rebind controls, I think. Yeah, all of them. Change controls for specifically the fencer. There you go. Jump can be whatever you want it to be. By default, space and left shift are for your, like, alternate fires for stuff. So it can be whatever you want, though, no problem. Or if you want to change controls for just general whatever. No problem. No problem. Huh? What happened? The lights will return to normal soon. What I love about the Air Raider the most, like, so whenever you call for an airstrike or something like that, when you have the civilian outfit or uh, you're on the missions where you're supposed to be a civilian, they're like, how'd you get the access codes to do this? Oh, well, though, I guess. And they just go ahead and fire anyway, because you're just some civilian asshole. But like, even the weapons that you get late in the game, that you wouldn't have had during these missions, they still have lines for using those, which is super cool. <laughs> I love that. The gate now. I also love that the missions change around on the super high difficulties. The mission changes it up a little bit. This way. Watch out Slidey on surfaces? Vehicles. Yeah, with the fencer, it's the it's supposed to be their momentum, like but it, it just seems a bit away. strange with this. I think it's because I don't have any weapons, yeah, maybe? It's a fencer thing, though. George was eaten. 
Don't worry. Soldiers love making jokes like these. Nice. Watch out for the tanks. This is a vehicle only lane. Don't get yes. it. Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh god. Feels so good to be back to something wrong with the circuit? Good to be back to EDF. Just switch on the light and it'll be fine. Help me! Help me! Help me! Powered exoskeletons are coming. Watch out! Walking through shit. This base is too large for humans. It looks like it's designed for military vehicles. Yeah. Ah. Take a turn here. I'm coming. I'm fuck. I'm so alert. slow. Emergency alert. This is not a drill. Repeat. This is not a drill. Maybe something did happen. I think I drop voice and music just a notch. Bob the Builder? Dude, yes. <laughs> Bob the Builder when he when he grew up more, because I think Bob the Builder was like supposed to be kind of middle-aged, right? No need to be nervous. Behind this gate is I can't move yet. Ooh, armor. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. But in this game, you've got like the blood effects and all that that stain the walls and floors. It gets nuts. <laughs> Some of the overkill that you do. Oh my god. You paint the world purple. Come here. You're not you're not supposed to be sticking around in here forever. Oh, and a weapon too. Dude, awesome. What the heck are these things? Good luck. I've never seen creatures like these before. They aren't surviving dinosaurs, are they? Well, that was close. Who is this? Are you alright? You are a yes. civilian, aren't you? Yes. Come, I'll give you a weapon. Nice. <laughs> really good, satisfying. Yes, one hundred percent. Yes. By monsters. We don't know what they are and how many there are, and we don't know how they infiltrated us. We can't make contact with the ground. We are isolated. Before the reinforcements arrive, we are on our own. That is why I'm arming you. As soldiers, and it's our duty to protect civilians. Although I would like to guarantee your safety, I can't make that promise as long as the identity of the enemy is unknown. Use your weapon to protect yourself if you're in danger. Now I'm going to teach you how to use it. Da 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 da! Right mouse button for the right handed weapon. The Gatling in this case, right? Hold button to launch destroy four targets. Yeah, that's right, right. I think in EDF4 it's by default reversed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice! That's right! Good. That's it. You got talent. <laughs> Hello, random person in the base that we found with the giant ant joyful. It lets sum you up to insane levels. What? <laughs> what do you say? Fuck it. Let's arm you up to insane levels. Yeah, yeah. Well. Nobody's gonna move the box. What the fuck did Brian say? 
Last Soul Spear's second fire goes further and penetrates targets usually. Spacebar for the right-handed special weapon, or uh, special use of the weapon for the spear to dash. The circle around us is a pickup radius. And then left shift for the shield being a deflection thing, same as 4.1. For the Gatling, the alternate would be a jump. EDF and don't forget to accidentally destroy the city to get one ant. Oh yeah. Dude, we can't let any of them alive. Thank you, Twilight Duck. Thank you, Karen, for the 200 bits as well. And Twilight Duck, 17 months. Much appreciated. <laughs> the... <laughs> the bullet hole just stretches it. I forgot about that. I'll take the lead. <laughs> you guys watch my back and stay close. Hey, I doing, Rogue? Hey, civilian. We might be running into some monsters. Take care of yourself. Got it? Yes. Yeah. Nice. I'm sorry. Good to be around again was so busy recently and don't think you can kill Sarge. Is there a demigod that cannot be here? No, yeah, they just go down to a knee for a while, unfortunately. Oh. We got one armor for the wing diver, annoyingly. Rat bastard shit. And for the fencer, us, enhanced exoskeletons of V1 exoskeleton, level zero with a null star rating. Mm, equipment weight impact on speed only 70% and rotational inertia only 70% as well and walking speed boosted by 10%. So that's nice. Allows us to continue using heavy weapons and stuff like that without suffering quite as much. We'll throw that on. Bam. And that's it, that's all. Can only have the one on. Mm. The monsters came from nowhere, and we don't know if there are more of them lurking in the dark, and to make it worse, we can't make contact with the ground. We're stranded at the bottom of the base. We can't sit around waiting. We must find the rest of our comrades and escape. I will protect you, civilian, but I don't know what will happen. If we're in bad luck, we're going to fight the monsters. Be prepared for battle, or get prepared for battle. Something about battle. <sighs> monsters might be hiding out. Stay alert. Civilian, keep up. Yeah. Stay close if they want to live. All right, keep it up. This is an emergency. You have to join the fight too, civilian. Nice. If you don't fight, you will become their food. Yes. Don't say that. We'll do our best to protect you. Is this your first time holding the gun? Try to hold it together. Aim at the enemy, then pull the trigger. Easy, Thanks. huh? And your hands can't be shaking. Yes! The elevator is this way. Here we are. Unlock the blast door. Monsters! They're attacking our men. Attack the monsters! Hey, they're too many! Save us! Oh. Be so big. Look at a fang. If you get bitten, you will die. <laughs> Kill them all. Spare no one. Look at the fangs. If you get bitten, you will die. Jesus. <laughs> uh, and the way they say it too. Like that's why I say if anybody else tries to make EDF, I don't think they'll be able to. I think they'll be trying too hard to make it funny. Everyone else is dead. We're safe. What on earth happened? Let's escape from underground. 
Head to the elevator. I like the evil the dead of video games. Moved. Yeah, yeah. The cables are all destroyed. This room doesn't work. Let's head back. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Since we can't use the elevator, there's a passage for AFVs. Let's go through that passage to the surface. Armored personnel vehicle. Back off. Yeah. Take the pathway for AFVs. Beware of the slope. Head to the ground surface. Follow me. We still have one more trick up our sleeve. There should be a powered exoskeleton hanger on the floor above. Let's move to the hangar quickly. Damn it. Got it. Off this hill. We're surrounded. Flanking us. We have to fight for survival. Let's do it. Somebody, come on. Oh, give me a little more warning, though. There we go. Deflection. Let's go for help. Go in for backup. The great way to do damage on the higher difficulties when your weapon sucks. You just deflect their projectiles back at them. Hey, now! You saved my life! We got one! You're good! A bit too far away for that, I think. Well done! You seem to have some talent! We're almost in the enemy's range. We better get the hell out of here. Let's go. Follow me. It's much more fun than training. That's what the officer. There should be powered exoskeletons in the hangar. Do you mean the robot-like things? Can anyone operate a powered exoskeleton? Sergeant has a license for it. Leave it to me. This is it. I'm opening the gate now. But like, I want to know. The voice actors have to know that they're being cheesy as hell, right? Like, it can't just be a translation type thing. It's too good for that. And some of the voice actors are the same from the last game. Like, they, they have to know. At least bat the projectiles away, if not a, if not deflecting them back into them. At least away from our people. Revving. There it goes. Ah, it's like a four second startup time with this thing. It's my motivation. Ham. Just ham everything all the way to ham. Yeah. Needing all the ham and... God, I don't know. I don't know how they do it. They're good, though. They're really good at being shit. <laughs> and I mean that in the most endearing way possible. Oop. Oh, health kit. I love how the music goes away when we're fighting. 
and then kicks back in <laughs> afterwards. This is just normal difficulty Twilight Duck. I could probably cheese it on a higher difficulty, but uh, I'd prefer not to. I don't want to. I don't want to wreck the difficulty curve, you know. Although we probably will play on hard on the norm for a little while. It's a huge difference between normal and hard, yes, but I, f I think for the first, ah, uh, the next mission after this, no, but the first couple after that, I think probably could. I think I did that with my aerator as well. This is where EDF comes from. Yep, this is it. I recorded the the EDF things from this game and I made them the alert sounds and oh man that was scary oh good grief let's move on I'm back in with this music <laughs> okay easy peasy I never thought the base would be under attack why isn't there any contact from the ground force they must be busy prepping the rescue ah. teams now. The rescue team will be here soon. They must be standing by on the ground surface now. Why did you take a mission? Please come in. Requesting surface sit rep. Damn. European Detection Force, Twilight Duck, is what EDF stands for. No also stand for integrity. Support. Really just integrity. <laughs> Truth, justice, and dead aliens. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Why are the halls and hangar doors so large? To fit big vehicles through. This wasn't made for on foot. They actually mentioned that, I think. I think on this ramp they mentioned it? Or maybe one of the other ramps. Spaceship. They kept multiplying, and they ended up eating all the food. Unlike machines, living creatures can reproduce. Huh. That's not bad, right? Hey, wait a minute. Are you saying that there will be more <laughs> monsters? We're all gonna die at this rate. Nice. Sergeant, you are okay. I'm going to the surface. Open the blast door. No way. It's likely that there are monsters on the other side. I see. But this is the only route. We have to exterminate the monsters. Open the blast. Ah, they were waiting for me. Yes, sir. <laughs> Here's the enemy. Job will never end. There are more than I thought. Now, there are way too many. Nothing to fear. Exterminate them all. Die, you monster. Die. Never in my wildest dreams could I have thought I'd be fighting monsters. I'm going in. I'm keeping the shield up the whole time if possible. Eh, don't think I can reach him. The lights up there are really trippy. The 
exit is not far. We'll be fine once we get back to the surface. I'm not trained for this. Giant ants, Mimir? Explain. This is the exit. We can meet up with our unit. Doesn't anyone on the EDF know that they are not monsters but giant ants? Don't know what you mean by that. Hey, civilian. That was quite impressive. Nice. After we get out, visit the army recruiter. He'll help you with the paperwork. EDF. Don't worry, civilian. We're safe now. Your skills are good. Can we change the subject? Are you petrified? Help! Blast hole spear upgraded as well as the deflection shield. We happened to find one that dropped that was a better star rating. So now we have an eight star variant of both of those. Also a Proto Reverser for the Ranger, and a Life Vendor, Mark II, for the Air Raider. Mm-hmm. And then it shows you exactly what upgraded with it, which is really nice. And then specifically which stats, um, how they are generally and how they rank and whether or not they're completed or not. So the reload speed of the base level 0 blast hole spear will never have a higher capacity than 8 or a 2 second reload. We'll have a faster swing speed potentially, not sure how much though, it's already 4 stars out of goodness knows how many. And the attack generally increased as well, okay both attacks pierce actually, yeah, okay. 80 more damage in the first one and about 100 more damage in the second attack. Quite nice, with still some room for improvement. Also the deflection shield, a lot more durability and a faster reload. Although that is it for the reload. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Ranger's Proto Reverser, amount healed, 0.47, spray count 189. Uh, almost useless due to nanomachines, low performance, costs your hardened form invisible armor and temporarily fixed damage armor. It can also heal friendly soldiers' health and vehicles' durability, since the extended magazine nanomachine contact is harmful. They've been tweaked to have no effect on the user. Womp. But no reload as usual. And Air Raider, Life Vendor Mark II, same deal, just a big water cooler with an AoE 10 meter radius heal. The level here is still just a general overall indicator, like in 4.1, of just uh, what difficulty it's from level zero stuff is garbage and will suck on the highest difficulty. Even if you have it completely maxed out, it'll still be terrible on the high difficulties. Though, some weapons scale really well with a high star rating. Like a level four weapon with like a, a full 10 stars will be possibly something you use well into the realm of like level 13, 14 stuff. But overall, the level will never change. The base deflection shield will always be level zero. There could be a Deflection Shield M2 that's like a level 7 weapon, or shield rather. We'll get there. Um, next mission, Crisis in Base 228. It's actually a pretty difficult mission, really. We'll be safe once we get back to the ground. Have to meet up with the troops to solve this, so it's time to say goodbye. That's what I hope to say, but don't worry, I'll send you home safely. The rapier? The rapier was great. And uh, do they start with that in this too? Oh, they do. The rapier is great in 4.1. Also have the power lance for them right away. Yeah, you know, still a G accuracy rating. 0.95 damage times 6. 60 seconds, or 60 fire per second. 474 capacity. Plasma cannon they start with. And the plasma core they've got. Sets your maximum energy, how quickly it charges, how quickly it does the emergency charge when it's completely empty, how much flying costs, and how much it costs to do your little dash, which is new to them. I'm sure we'll get you to safety this time, civilian. Yeah, I take a drink every time they bring me to safety. <laughs> I can try out the wing diver, sure. Give it a go. 
Um, obviously change the colors around because disgusting. Oops. Maybe yellow. How about the yellow and blue? But yeah, Air Raider is just like some. He just looks like a dude who works at the airport. There's a maintenance on the back, and it's just he's just some dude along for the ride. The Ranger actually just looks like you know proper-ish police security guard. Spencer just an absolute unit. And the wing diver. Uh, most damage. Yeah, not sure. I forget what their backstory is for the civilian clothes. I think they're just like a like a fireworks air show operator or something like that. Like nothing at all for fun. We can try them off for this though. Go for it. There's the exit. Still have that same energy bar from before, but we have, uh, if I can find the button for it. That's chat. Hold on. Change controls. Wing diver controls. Right mouse. Oh, okay. Right mouse button. Right. We have a little dash. The downside is she never shuts up because of that. But it doesn't cost much energy to do that, but it's a really good way to stay up in the air all the time. Did they start shooting a movie in the base while we were gone? We can't fight our troops are in combat. We should back them up. Follow me. You're good. Die, you must Smaller ball if I don't put much energy into it, bigger ball if I put it all in. They killed my comrade! Time for revenge! Come out! I like that line. Time for revenge! Like here we go again. Look at me murdering everybody. Again. It was safer underground. We should have stayed down there. It's much more dangerous on the surface. Crap. I can't believe that the powered exoskeleton can't be activated in such a crucial moment. If she didn't make noise every time she dashed, I'd be a lot happier with her. Look at how much the spray is though because of the overkill. The fencer does as well, but it's way more noticeable with the wing diver. Commencing initiation procedure. Infantry, protect the powered exoskeleton. But the dash that she can do is like it's it's so good. You just levitate a little bit and you get a really good dash, or you can just do it from the ground for a smaller one. The lieutenant was killed in action, eaten by a monster. I mean, I'm sure I could turn the voice off, but Get in position. I can't turn voice off in this game. No worry. Anyone capable of moving must fight. Somebody help us! Shoot them! Don't let the monsters get any closer. This is Iota One. Activation sequence has reached final phase. Keep the monsters away from the powered exoskeletons. Distraction. Let's get high, get some momentum. Too many enemies. Evacuate the civilian. And reload.
alone. They should be all evacuated by now, but we can't be sure of that. We can't reach the corporal in charge of the escort. Monsters plus UFOs? Crap! The most disgusting combo! <laughs> This is a special news flash. There have been accounts of UFO sightings everywhere across the globe. And this time, the UFOs aren't just moving flashes of light caught on camera. According to eyewitnesses, they saw flying objects made of metal. For now, the identity of these objects remains unclear. Since there are reports of sightings coming from everywhere, it is speculated that there are multiple UFOs flying in different areas. And on higher difficulties, this mission is really brutal to handle because there's just so many of them and they're on top of you right away that if you yourself can't handle them very quickly, it's basically over because they'll just take out all of your allies. But look at all the stuff that's around. Skeleton team, engage. Hype. This is Yoda two, ready to fight some monsters. I mean, I don't really have to do anything at this point. But I'm gonna. I don't have the second verse or anything bound at all. I'm sorry. <laughs> but hey, she can sing at least. Hey. All exterminated. Hey. It's finally over. Hey. 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 Got it. Get the stuff. Ah. So much loot though. Three armor on the wing diver, one on the ranger, one on the air raider, three on the fencer as well. It tries to prefer what you're playing as. Um, so yeah, a lot of stuff for the wing diver, again, prefers what you're playing as. A grenade for the ranger. Couple guard posts for the air raider. Looks like it got a guard post, but then it upgraded. Another exo exoskeleton for the fencer, though it doesn't look like an upgrade or anything. It's not new even, and a deflect cell. For an enhanced shield thing. The power lance upgraded? We don't really care about the power lance, so I think. Not too much anyway. Spark Vine Y3 on the wing diver. I don't think we ever played with a Spark Vine in 4.1. 13 capacity, one shot per second. I'm not sure what the 4 plus is with this. I don't know what that's going on about. Like, I'm not sure if there's a small chance for a weapon to get plus in a category where it's like, it's extra good. Or so. Um, I don't know. I never figured it out. Mission good for basically pimping everyone out. If you can handle it, yeah. It is 
a difficult mission, genuinely, especially on the higher difficulties. But if you need to get the base stuff for everybody, yeah, it's a great one to go with. There are significantly better farming missions later on, though. Some of them don't even really require any cheesing. I don't know, high energy cost, but that's only one star, so it's hard to tell. A mag blaster, 1,048 capacity, 60 shots per second, 2.2 damage, just one star, though. S++ accuracy, 180 meter range. Particle beam rifle for wing divers. And then the lightning bow. Yeah, the rolly pull the ambition. Yeah, with the with the car garage, you can cheese it real damned good. Like there's some missions that just if you're in the right spot, you just don't take damage. <clears throat> but other missions with spawners that you just leave a spawner alive with the basic alien, and you just uh, you can farm that too. All sorts of things you can do to get stuff. I'd like to not do that. I try not to. All sorts of weapons. A new core, the Turbo Core. Max energy zero stars, so only 72. Charges 6.2 per second. Specializes enhancement of flying ability. Forward acceleration is increased. Boost speed forward plus 25%. Boost consumption only 3.2. But with the max energy being zero and the emergency charge being also zero stars, it's uh, probably worse than what I've got, honestly. 434 damage grenades, the MG-11J, 4.4 meter blast radius, 10 second detonation, though. Air Raiders guard post, they get three of them, reduces damage by 30% across 22.2 meters for roughly two minutes. Automatically reloads in the background, don't even have to have it pulled out. A lot of the Air Raider stuff is like that. They can just sit in your pocket for a while and it'll slowly reload. Every 30 seconds you get three more of them. Very good. Yeah, a lot of missions that you can do just to do that don't require any sort of cheesy behavior or anything like that. They did a really good job with it. You can just do the mission normally and it's still fantastic. It just uh, really depends what you're after. The deflect cell, shell, cell, deflect cell, shield consumption reduced to 65%, damage reduction rate reduced to 20%, knockback reduction rate reduced to 25%, so you're a lot more about just uh, holding it up or deflecting, I'm not really sure. Powerless to repel attacks, but the impact of bolts can be reduced, okay. So yeah, that's for actually blocking projectiles and all that. So that it's just reduced by 20%, by 25%, I think. Mm, the Ranger we can try out quick. Standard assault rifle, standard rocket launcher, nothing fancy at all. Support equipment. They get, they get some vehicles in this game. Unlike EDF 4.1, if the vehicle spawns on the mission, anybody can get it. The Air Raider can spawn in some of the more fancy stuff, but this, uh, the Ranger can also spawn in the basic things, tanks, helicopters, and bikes, that then other people can also get in. I think everybody can also drive them. I think. Um, which is weird. I kind of like the Air Raider being the only one that can call stuff in. But it gives the Ranger a little more utility in a general group rather than just playing defensive bitch boy. I guess there's that. Mm. Not really, uh... Not really a brightly colored vest at all, is it? Mm. That's the jumpsuit beneath. Sort of is what it is. That's all right. Part two, base under attack by unknown hostiles and is turned into a battlefield. No guarantee for your safety, even if you try to hide. Now grab your gun and fight. You have what it takes to be a soldier. Eh, what's that? This is one of the first missions that's distinctly different on higher difficulties. Retreat! Find cover! 
Blam. They're giant pylons. They look mechanical. The pylons seem to be a device for teleporting monsters. The oh, rockets fly. fire quite a bit differently. Attack the monsters! I'll help you! Awesome! Blam. The pylon can be destroyed by attacking the upper part. And our special thing, hold shift. You get a nice shot of his ass. Hope we get a detection radius so you move a bit faster. Some support equipment that you can equip will increase the uh, pickup range and change your sprint a little bit and stuff like that. But it's a good way to run around and just collect things afterwards. Forgot about that. <laughs> that shitty tune. On the UFOs. A monster has appeared in the same area where a UFO was previously sighted. It is said to be 10 meters long, extremely aggressive, and will most likely attack humans. Stay tuned for more updates. That's a good idea, the tune for a donation sound? Remind me, I'll see if I can do that. I have to turn off, like, sound and music, though, but, uh, to get a clean recording of it. It's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> God, this thing never fucking dies. Ah. <sighs> into the city, it will cause heavy casualties. But not only casualties, the whole city will be gone. What is going on? What in the world are we fighting against? This is more than an act of terrorism. Does that mean we're at war with some country? This is the world at war. Off of radio noise. I was about to travel abroad next week. Just my luck. Well, my friend in Europe just told me that Marseille is being attacked by thousands of monsters. Are you saying that we're not the only ones being attacked? Be the medicinal supply. I'm impressed. There we go. Good job. It seems that monsters have appeared in Osaka too. <laughs> A lot of UFOs were sighted too. There's great confusion in the media right now, so keep it cool and don't start going around spreading rumors. Move this garbage out of the way. They will crash down here. There's too many of them. This base won't make it. Abandon the base. Evacuate now. There's loot. Hold on. I'll be right back. No loot. Come back. <laughs> yeah, no mission clear, it's fine. It's totally fine, Griffin God, don't worry about it. <laughs> There's the Death Crawler one for the Air Raider, the Vibro Hammer for the Fencer, so we can axe around a little bit. Ranger getting the MG11 Grenades upgrade. The Impulse Y8 and a KFF 50 sniper rifle. KFF 50 sniper rifle, 5 shots, 0. 0.6 second, 124 damage. Got the best of that. Reload time as well, best of that, 2 seconds. But I like it because, like, it requires a lot more farming, but it's cool because sometimes you'll get a weapon that's like, well, this would be maybe really cool, but the reload time is like 0 stars. So it's like, it would be cool, but it takes 23 seconds to reload the damn thing, so. Ugh. But it's it's cool to see the potential of the weapons, though, eventually, because like I said, sometimes you get like a low level weapon, but you get it like really capped out in high ranking. It can be the weapon that you use for like a good 20 levels still. MG11, bit more damage. Blaster is the same still. Impulse Y8, directional landmine, detonates automatically when an enemy enters the effective range. Spews out a large number of ball bearings, devastating whoever they may strike. A bit like a claymore mine, right? 
You get 8 of them, 15.7 damage. No more, no less. Times 20 per ball bearing. 75 meter range, 40 meter search distance, and a 6.1 second reload. Not bad. In the depth crawler, uh, two compact cannons, pierce target, which is good, and also the Gatling gun. The vibro hammer for the fencer. Mm, regular attack and maximum because it's a charge type thing, though it charges slowly, zero stars, 0.7 per second charge. And defense damage, 50%, not sure about that. Capacity 8, reload 2 seconds. Um, clash medium range charge at 1, so a bit more than a second of charging will get there. Does just under 60 damage at a range of 106.5 meters. Or we do a half fast charge, a mere 40 damage. Although, actually 40 versus 60 damage, not bad. But the range, 35 meters. So charge it up for a longer attack, basically, but the damage isn't hugely different. And the Air Raider. Robot Bomb. Absolutely. Also the Zeddy Gun, but we have that on, apparently. Fuck it. Robot Bomb, the Zeddy Gun. Um, the decoil. <laughs> Fucking Betor gifted me. <laughs> Betor gifted me one of the DLC. We'll, we'll give it a go. Holy fuck. <laughs> Depth Crawler will try it out. Oh, man. Robot bombs are fun. They're little just battle Roombas. Um, Self-propelled bomb built in AI. It just drives around, bounces around. 113.7 damage, 4.7 blast radius. Four second reload, locks onto a dude. Get five of them. In certain circumstances, they're really, really good. But very cer certain circumstances. Oh yes, the decoys. Look at that blue. Holy shit. Whoops. No, I want that. Dude, that looked shiny. I was so blue. Damn. All right, <laughs> looking good. Uh, and the Zeddy gun is just a, a little turret that we put down on the ground. Just seeks for a target and fire. Some of them are like a sniper, some of them fire rockets, some of them are just a assault rifle type thing. Just depends. And a limpet gun we already know. That's just the remote, remote explosive thing. Ish. Go, go, go! I right click to activate and they just start firing. If they can seek into something, then they will. And the robot bombs that just literally drop down and it, it does its thing. But it's good for like getting around buildings and stuff like that, because it'll it will find the guy eventually. Like it can't not find the guy. <laughs> and the decoy launcher. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> it's a thing. Looks like it's not safe here either. 
Um, <laughs> I, I don't know what to say about it, but thank you, Bethor, for gifting this to me. <laughs> Whenever that was. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a decoy. The the enemies fucking hate these things, and, and they'll do a lot that they can to, to take it out. <laughs> There's more reasonable decoys that you can pick up. That aren't that. But it'll be a while. I still hear them back places. there. The flying objects are extremely dangerous, so we urge you to keep a safe distance if you come across one. Yeah, yeah. When they get hurt and attack, they lose more and more. That's why I put them out there. I I remember that. <laughs> Fear not. I have thought about this. Hey, right. I can't roll through stuff with you. And I think the robot bomb can't target. And actually get that, or can it go up the up the shaft? I forget if it can or not. It looks like no. We'll reload and despawn those. Battle Roombas, go, go, go! I wonder where they're going. Okay, they're just generally a bit lost. Takes a minute, we'll get up there though. I still like that you can actually go into buildings and stuff. Ugh. Could you, could you cut it with your goop? Oh, that's not gonna help anybody. Well, maybe. No, I can't aim down. Damn it. This is as far as we get, huh? Okay. How about we throw one out here? We, we don't want it? I don't actually really have a way to take this thing out until they get a depth crawler, so... <laughs> um, we need to... We need to be doing better than this. There we go. Just some civilian, keep in mind. <sighs> go, go, go! And this is one of my favorite thing about the Air Raiders support equipment is that they can be mounted onto vehicles. It's just, uh, it's gonna be maybe a little bit difficult to shoot. We'll s bear with me here, guys. Oh, wait. Ah! Ah! Next! Oh god, hi. The tanks will support the infantry. Yeah, that doesn't name up any. There we go. That's a nice alternate fire. Ugh. The sprite fall has just generally the best lines. <laughs> That bitch is crazy. This is the She's awesome. Intelligence division. 
We will support you in the combat. Thank you for the support. Based on the falling yeah, trajectories too far. of the pylons, we've determined the location of the gigantic ship. So that's the ship that deploys those pylons. It's flying above the combat area now. It may deploy pylons. Please be on high alert to the sky. Everyone stay alert. Yes, sir. It's about time. <laughs> Twilight Duck knows. <laughs> God. I can I can aim this. Uh, oh God, that's difficult to aim. Wait. I got it though. Holy shit. What an awkward angle to be. <laughs> no, stop it! Quit spitting at me! Uh Okay. And we get a new depth crawler, which I will call out there, I think. This is the strategic intelligence division. The gigantic ship is descending. It might be heading to the combat area. What did you say? The estimated time of arrival is wait, it can't be. It's already near ground level. There's so many. Shit. <laughs> Didn't want to be off to the left. Best thing about Air Raider is that everyone hears the radio reply. Yeah, everybody. You know what I'll say here? The right click with the limpet gun. That little beep it makes, everybody hears that. Do with that information so what you far, will. The identity of the flying objects remains <laughs> unclear as governments beep. worldwide deny involvement. Beep. And it hasn't been confirmed beep, beep. whether oh, other fuck. organizations are involved. <laughs> Although the government promised to clarify the situation, the current state is in chaos for authorities in question. I got enough help so tank it, I don't care. Shit. A thousand armor on this thing. What are we fighting against? Hostile forces. Yeah. What exactly does hostile forces mean? I need a shirt with that. Uh, Sergeant, this is not good. <laughs> hostile forces. What is that? It's as large as the city. Uh, is it a spaceship? Uh, Could it be? Aliens? You did not just tank that. Come on. Da, da. Hello? My brother said he saw a monster. It's the size of an elephant. Huh? No? Why? Why don't you believe me? Time to wake up. This is such a wild dream. There are no such things as monsters. Who are these people and why are they on our radio? Turn. Turn. <sighs> Flying saucers! Flying saucers are coming out! It's not a terrorist attack! It's an alien invasion! Wasn't the best loadout for the mission, but hey, we did it. Single barreled cannon A, 150 millimeter, life vendor mark two upgraded, robot bomb upgraded, guard post upgraded, combat bomber upgraded, robot bomb upgraded again. Fencer getting the Dexter automatic shotgun and the arm hound. Mm, good weapons.
single barreled cannon A. Five bacons, 1.5 second rate of fire, 150 damage, that's what upgraded. Bacon range, 206. 206 meters per second speed as well, so it takes one second to get out to where it goes. Automatically reloads, 8.5 seconds to reload just in the background, it only gets one shot. So you shoot out a thing, it sticks, you get five of them. And then a blast comes down from space, doing 150 damage. Combat Bomber KM6, one of the one of the main things with the Air Raider is calling in bombers and stuff. And I really like the way the EDF5 has done it with them because it's a lot easier to know exactly what the fuck you're doing. Now imagining a bacon surf traveling at 205.9 meters per second at precisely 205.9. We timed it. Robot bomb upgraded. The number is supposedly upgraded, but it just means that it's like 5.2, which rounds down to 5 now. Damage increased a little bit, and the lock-on range has increased a bit. Up to 200 meters. Live Vendor Mark II, radius increased by a pretty good amount, up to 13 meters. Guard Post also increased, just uh, another meter or so with that. Mirage Zero got some increase. no, no, new weapon. Mirage Zero. Although I think that's the same thing like before, the um, really fast lock-on one shot per thing, basically instant reload, so it's just homing bullets basically. A Dexter Automatic Shotgun, it's an automatic shotgun. Does 12 damage, but falls off down to 1.2 damage as you get out to its max range of apparently 90 meters. Accuracy C, this is a pretty garbage shit Dexter Automatic Shotgun. But it is good when you get a good one. Arm Hound as well, too. Um, because the, the lock-on time for it can be really, really low with a quite fast reload time. Currently, it's awful because zero stars, so a six-second reload time. Garbage. But the Arm Hound can be quite nice at its higher ranks. Um... I will change to a more reasonable loadout. I'll go with the sniper, sure. What's the reload on this? 4.4 seconds? With only a B accuracy? Ugh, I'll stick with just terminal normal one, actually. That's pretty fucking garbage. We'll take a water cooler with us, too. Go with the guard post, how about? Bit of protection. Instead of the disgusting decoy launchers, I'll take a long... Um... Now you know what, I'll bring the Zeddy gun, that's okay. And for vehicle? Nothing else. Where's the bombers at? Ah, over there. Aha, okay. I thought that might have been a vehicle thing for some reason. Combat Bomber KM6. Yeah, what I like about the Limpet Sniper is the massive damage it does. Being able to just one-shot things and delete them, it's a slow process, but being able just to fire at a guy and be like, that dude's taken care of? So good. I like the Limpet Snipers a lot. The reload speed, though, is horrible. 4.4 .4 seconds is yuck. I'd rather load up a few Limpets onto one dude first. Two units doing 70 shots, 560 point to reload. Keep in mind that they have a point system. The more damage and kills that you get, the more points you get, not necessarily with this weapon, but just overall. And that's how you get more. It's got a hit area radius of 8 meters and about 80 damage or so. But hey, we'll go for that. And vehicle, I guess I'll bring a depth crawler? I guess? Guard post on the depth crawler and stomp around a bit while we call down combat bombers? We can go for that. Limpid gun with S++ accuracy? But a limpet sniper with B plus, yeah. There's there's a there's a couple things like that, yeah. You know? mm, gonna be garbage on that mission, but I think I'd like to bring the fencer for that. So let's go for this first crisis mission on normal with what we've got, and then I'll switch to the fencer for a bit of progression. 
Well, bump it gun. You fire a sticky. Right click to detonate it. Easy peasy. And guard post, I'll just, uh. I'll just plop down somewhere. And the combat bomber. We'll place it. I guess. Did they start shooting a movie? I guess nowhere for now. Oops. Ah, yeah, shit. I forgot how to cancel. I think it was reload, maybe? Oh, well. But that's them. No explosions. This one's just a gun. The ones that cost that many points to recharge are usually just guns. The gun with the worst accuracy is a sniper that the ranger uses. It's got... Is that I or L accuracy? I'm assuming I. On a scale of S to F. I, okay. So not even G. And certainly not H. I. Can it, can it literally fire behind you? Death call is ready. Combat bomber is also ready again. 560 points is really not that much. Got a guard post. Uh, is that on? I think that's that one's on. Yeah, that's attached. Everybody follow me. I'll take you along whether you like it or not, damn it. <laughs> ah, they got out. Just about ready again. There we go. This is Iota One. Activation sequence has reached final phase. Keep the monsters away from the powered exoskeletons. This is Bummer. It's okay if you're a civilian. Help us, please. Civilian. There are too many enemies. Evacuate the civilian. A lot of the columns that you do that's just like one artillery blast are also really quick reloads, so if you if you hit just a small cluster of them, it's instantly ready again. You can kinda use it as just your normal weapon. Because some of them you also fire off the multiple beacons. So even if just one shot doesn't do it, the few shots that you'll inevitably do might. Oh no, it's ready. What if we're wrong? I don't have Our is injured. I'll back you up. Is it all just swarms of giant ants? No, not at all. These early missions, yes. And then a bit spiders. But there are definitely aliens. That look just they look just like humans. Indistinguishable from humans. Ah, God. Of sightings coming from everywhere, it is speculated that there are multiple UFOs flying in different areas. Incoming monsters! Sprite fall shooting mode beta. Yeah, one of them are like that too, where it's just like a big laser blast that explodes. Some of them are just like they're always ready. Powered exoskeleton team, engage. Uh. 
And I plonk it on your toe. Perfect. And you too. Eh, not really, but it still works. Okay. I can't hear anything. <laughs> oh God, nice and quiet back here. Holy shit, I'm going into my bunker. Fucking hell. Oh, that was it. Nice, good job. <laughs> The guard posts for the walking backs are super duper good because they last a good while, like two minutes, I think it was. Laser guide kit. There you go. One of the co-op guide kit things. Those are still in. Rapid fire cannon A, single barreled cannon A. I think that might be another one that just like you can use it all the time. Um, oh, it's an automatic reload thing. Okay, not even point-based. The orbital laser operator should es should be especially enthusiastic. Must have been never heard him. She's en enthusiasm is a word that could describe her. Yo. Hey, how you doing, Shabby? Tier 1, 15 months with the beep boop. Good to have you, man. How you doing? How you been? Happy New Year. Yada yada. Hope you're doing well. Zella was well with Prime Gaming for six months. Thank you very much. Congrats on the promotion. Hope you're doing well as well. Yeah, a lot of these just automatic reload, which is also fine. It allows you to alternate between a couple of them. So if you really don't want to use the limpet gun, you're still okay. Laser guide kit, lock on speed and range three times, zoom four times. So you paint the target for a fencer or a ranger's uh, big missile weapons. Really, really powerful things, but alone without an air raider, you can't use them. They have no lock on or anything. Because they require a lock on. Dragoon Lance. Capacity 1 damage, 450 down to 45 at range, 84 meters, S++ plus plus accuracy, 20 energy cost, oof. And charge time, 3 seconds. I mean, basically no stars, so that's going to be terrible. Mag Blaster is just their assault rifle type thing. 2.4 damage, ooh boy. Pulse Machine Gun, 8.4 damage increased. Maybe get around to doing that. EDF. EDF. <laughs> hey, thank you, Pedro. Much appreciated. Switch back to the fencer, yeah? Try to get the hang of the fencer a bit more. With the, uh, with the vibro hammer. Like, two vibro hammers? And a, or maybe a spear? A spear and a hammer? Is that a thing? We're gonna make it a thing. With the deflection shield. Because that's the only shield we've got. And this can be the Dexter Automatic Shotgun, even if it is a little bit terrible early on. V1 Exoskeleton. Um, We'll try the Deflect Cell, I guess. And... Right, I can have two. Yeah, okay. Exoskeleton and the Deflect Cell. Nice. Perfect. Looking good. So, unidentified flying objects. I don't think the hammer can work. Did a full Zeddy gun load out once? Oh yeah. Yeah, that works. That works too. I think I had to do that for a mission because I accidentally only brought that as a suitable weapon against what I was fighting. It took a while. God, we're so much more lumbering. Look at that, charges there on the left and... Look out, civilians! Okay. 
And it comes with the dash. Alright. Ah, she's okay. Alright, yeah, don't think it'll help against these guys, but, uh... They're on the shotguns. Yep. Probably gonna want to go with a minigun, I think. Although, deflecting these projectiles could be really good. Yeah, yeah. They're getting close, we shotgun them away. God, it's terrible, the shotgun for now. Uh, I guess the spear would work too. The spear's got range to it, and it pierces. Then we can charge up the hammer while doing other stuff. Oh yeah. But yeah, definitely doesn't reach them though. Hmm. Think we gotta change our loadout though. Because I know what comes. Get off me! <laughs> They're eating me, help! Yeah. We analyze their pattern of action. We think that these weapons are autonomous battle drones. And I am afraid their targets are humans. Unmanned killing weapons. Huh? If we let them run rampage, it will result in unimaginable casualties. We must shoot them all. If we let them run at rampage. <laughs> Yo, let's change our loadout quick. <laughs> Technically, I could die depending on the difficulty you get a portion of the stuff that you picked up. But uh yeah, we'll just change it around real quick. We're gonna go with a hand gatling and a hand gatling, and here we can go with deflection shield and shotgun, sure. Sure. And yeah, I got an exoskeleton on too. Seems really buggy. Are you making a pun, holy Pluto? Is that a pun? I don't appreciate puns. Is it a new weapon made by another country? Hey, look! What are those? They look like flying saucers. Ha! The enemies? The battle will begin shortly. It's about time. No! It! Where's the replacement commander? They're still a bit far away, but I can at least gun them down a lot easier with this. Recoil when firing both is a little bit high, but that's okay. Well, one's reloading, we can start firing the other one, then that goes into reload, and the first one's already done, so... We can kind of alternate and get some continuous fire going, yeah? That's the plan, at least. Uh, I don't think we got the range for that, right? No, not really. Much better killing rate this time around. If 
We let them run rampage. It will result in unimaginable casualties. We must shoot them all down. Goddamn terrorists! I promise I will make you pay! There should be laws against the use of battle drums. Which freaking country said yeah. those things? Yeah. Face the reality. It's an alien invasion. Yeah. No time for jokes. Anybody helping me? I feel like there's always one just over my head shooting down at me. This is Hummer. We're in position. Very well. The anti-material rifle should be able to shoot down those drones. Gotta get over this thing and that one's gone. are attacking humans. Civilians are in danger, so shoot down as many of them as possible. This is Wingdiver. We have arrived on the scene. All members are equipped with Equipment D. Very well. Attack the flying saucers. Equipment D, guys. That's better than Equipment C. Maybe. They insist that it's another country attacking and doing all of this. They insist. They realize soon, though. No substantial information about the flying objects could be obtained. Governments of all countries are still denying any sort of involvement. However, there are only a limited number of forces that can perform such a large-scale attack. In order to find out the truth, the suspected parties should be closely monitored. Investigations ought to be pursued, and appropriate enforcement actions taken. Almost over. <sighs> Is that equipment D you've got there? You, you okay, wing diver? Okay. They're just they get stuck on buildings. It's what they do. They're not really good for anything else. <laughs> I guess making noise. They're good at making noise. Look at all that loot. Oh my god. All oh, right. Looks like it's activating some kind of device. I forgot about that. Quick, get the loot, get the loot, get the loot. Please prioritize intelligence collection. Did you hear that? Weapons are most important. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. My shield's up. I'm going to deflect it, guys. I'm okay. It's my duty to protect civilians. Oh, hi. It's my duty to protect civilians. No doubt. Those things are aliens. You guys are on my side now, huh? This is not just a world war. It is a space war. I'll let you prepare for battle. Please reply. This is strategic command headquarters. Oh, we are the valiant team. Hostile forces. We are the alpha team with passion and camaraderie. What is the air force doing? Be calm, be bold, and raise your guns. There are just way too many. At this rate, we will all die. Yes. Hey, I doing Zirkram? Back from the shop. Nice. <laughs> Welcome back. It's a weird terror mission right now in the uh, XCOM, but we're getting through it. 
I have fucked up my reloads. Rot row. Good luck, everyone. Oh god, it's fighting again. Oh no, it's leaving. Okay. And unlike in 4.1, everybody can heal people when they pick them up, or uh, pick up health kits. It's not just a ranger thing anymore. So kind of like anybody can use vehicles, anybody can also actually have troops with them and keep them safe and stuff. Get the stuff. Yeah, the suppression mechanic is pretty sweet in this one. Yeah, you really, uh, can really go nuts with the heavies. Hit this XCOM mod. Nice. <laughs> 30 millimeter Gallic heavy cannon. FG7 hand galling, arm hound. Vibro hammer F3. Vibrohammer F3, a uh, couple stages of charge to this one. It's got a medium range charge and a wide range charge. Okay, I think it's a lot less damage. No, I think this is more damage actually. I think what I've got is like 60 damage in it. Eight capacity, defense damage 50%, reload 2.2, not bad. And Gatling leveled up. Uh, quite a lot smaller delay before it begins firing. The damage is a bit improved, not a whole lot though. Reload speed's greatly, well, ish, increased. It's eight seconds still, but shaved off a second of it. Range slightly increased, shot speed increased a bit. It's mostly capped off though. Rate of fire, reload time, range, shot speed doesn't get any better than that for the FG7 hand Gatling at level zero. But oh well. Gallic Heavy Cannon, 8 shots, 0.33 rounds per second. It pierces targets, doing 381.6 damage. Takes just under 5 seconds to reload. Great range at 840. Shot speed, pretty quick at 420 meters per second. Nice. A, a plus accuracy as well. You can also zoom with it. That's what you do instead of the jumping or dashing with the heavy uh, cannon stuff. It's got to zoom to it to help you aim. Arm Hound increased its rate of fire, lock on time a bit increased, and the reload time looking a bit nicer. Totally unsure what you should think about this game? Perfect. That's 100%. Give it like another day, you'll be in love with it. We'll be chanting EDF together, okay? PA11. Uh, just more damage. It's fine. Great shot, I don't know. I don't really care about the Wing Diver stuff much. Um, yeah, so what are we doing here? The quiet threat? A lot of flying things. Plan was to head to the city through the industrial area, but look at those flying saucers in the sky. We need to be careful. And be careful, I shall. I think I go with this, uh, the ranger on this one, actually. Because I remember this mission. It's one of the first missions that you encounter where you can simply just bring weapons that you can't... You, you can't beat the mission with otherwise. So, uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll do it with our ranger guy. The benefit of this is we're allowed to do this because we still get health for them and others, as well as weapons and stuff that we pick up. Perfect. But yeah, totally normal to be unsure about the game. This is Dolphin. That's, uh, that's how it is. That's how the, how the likeness curve goes. God, we're so quick now. This is Rabbit. We're surrounded by flying saucers and can't move. We should go save our men. 
That's too yeah. risky. I'm sorry. Sergeant, do you hear me? We have info about the flying saucers. Civilian, don't time. worry. This is the Strategic Intelligence Division. Flying saucers are unmanned drones, meaning that we can still defeat them, even if they outnumber us. Tell me. Yes. To... The color ah, of the drone is slow. the key. A blue drone is in alert mode and is presumed to be harmless. So the drones that glow in blue are not dangerous. But under certain circumstances, the drones will turn red. Red color drones are in combat mode. They are killing machines that can trace and kill their targets. This critical moment. The drones in this area are all in alert mode. Don't fight all the drones at once. Lure a few of them each time, and then destroy them one by one. Well done, Sergeant. Destroy the rest of the drones. I'll swap my magnet. Use this method well, and you can win. There's no time to waste now. Sergeant, support the dolphin team and the rabbit team right away. Dolphin and rabbit. Yeah, okay, let's get over there. I gotta recruit. Okay, I can get these guys now. Was waiting for them to be recruitable because I remember this mission quite well. There are two squads of dudes. If we explore a little bit, we'll find them. We don't see them immediately, but they are there. Red means combat mode. They are machines anyway. Once we know their mechanics, we can deal with them. Thought there was somewhere over here. I know this mission very well, he says. I mean, look at these, look at these jeans. There's so much texture in them, you know? This is Rabbit Team. We'll fight to the end. Charge! I don't know who our enemies are. There's no doubt. Kill us all and destroy everything. I really don't want to fight them. Get over there. Must. Uh. After some detailed analysis, we have figured out the conditions in which the alert mode switches to combat mode. There are three conditions. First, humans reach closest point of approach distance. Second, they are attacked. Third, when a drone is hit, nearby drones will turn into combat mode. That means the drone that was hit will inform the drones around it about the enemy. Thank you so much. But yes, what's a civilian doing? Uh, Shoot them! Uh, uh, back me up! Yes. Negative. Reload. Reload. What's a civilian doing here? And what's he doing? Just casually walking around with this high-powered sniper rifle and fucking rocket launcher. Better questions to ask. strike and lost many bases in addition our enemy has been launching indiscriminate attacks on our cities by dropping monsters as I am speaking the casualties are increasing everyone we have no choice but to fight this chief commander dude is so extreme later on holy shit <laughs> it just starts screaming with his speeches all the time. <laughs> Man's a champion. But yeah, snipers against these are great. It's just one shot, delete. Easy peasy. And sometimes you need that against swarm enemies, just the guaranteed kill. And that's why the limpet sniper is really nice, because you just... You know that that thing is dead over there. And it gets strong enough that when you fight the heavier things later on, a headshot will, uh, will take it out immediately. There is another group of dudes somewhere out here. I don't know where they are. We 
did an amazing job. If we can analyze the data, we might be able to change the tide. Civilian, you are pretty good. This yes. time, I will definitely take you to a safe place. Yes, it is our duty to protect citizens, after all. Yes, yes. it is. <laughs> Definitely this time, for sure. The Minion Buster, not a whole lot of loot that mission. The Minion Buster we got. Level 1, it's already 4 stars, so it's already kind of, on average, decent. 90 capacity, 10 shots per second, 21.2 damage, radius of half a meter. 2.2 second reload time, 100 meter range, C plus accuracy. Ooh, the shot speed's alright. Special rifle developed the battle against powered exoskeletons. Holding the trigger, pressing and holding the attack button, will consecutively fire armor-piercing high-explosive shells. Hmm. Maybe? I don't know. Try it out! Still no support equipment though, unfortunately. Womp. Made it to the city, finally we can have some rest, we're safe here, trust me, you survived, you'll get home somehow. Probably switch back to the fencer after this one though, here's the minion buster. Rogue says it's great. It doesn't seem safe here. It's not just unsafe. I mean, it's a bit inaccurate, it's a bit flashy, but uh... You know, sometimes a bit of inaccuracy is what you need for a big group. Especially since they ex they're a little bit like the Needler in uh, Halo. This game just casually throwing these into a mission out of nowhere. We haven't seen these before. <laughs> I think it. I think this game scales up a lot faster than 4.1 does. This has a slower first couple missions for like tutorial reasons, but the general threat scales up a lot more. We've already fought a few different types of things that, as they get thrown in together, it gets pretty crazy fast. Welcome you with open arms. Being a soldier is awesome. This is the best job ever, as long as there are no monsters. Yeah, I noticed they recoil a little bit when it uh, when it explodes, so you can kind of lock them into place a bit. I wish the accuracy was a little bit more. Typically, they go for like a B accuracy or better. Two of us got injured. Who's that? Way below ground over here. Oh, way above ground. Got it. Did something just glitch out over there? Yeah, it did. Okay. The are too <laughs> what a jump! Wow! Hey, welcome, Sally Max. How you doing? I love EDF. The UFOs? Oh, they're they're over there somewhere. Or, or so. We're, we're fighting spiders now. Come on, Holy Poodle, keep this up. Jeez. Strategic intelligence division. The black monsters we encountered before will be called Alpha from now on. The ones that shoot threads will be called Beta. Although the species Beta monsters are slow, they can unleash threads with acid, so they are very dangerous. Get these fucking trees out of you. Oh, I thought I could run through a tree. Turns out I can't. Ugh. But yeah, the slightly inaccurate guns. Good for a swarm of enemies, because you don't have to think about where you're aiming. You just go for it. It also scoots bodies, which is good. Sometimes you get a whole... God damn, sometimes you get a whole clog of, uh, of enemies. And you can no longer really do damage to any of them because there's a whole wall of bodies in the way. Ah. Oh yeah, sorry. Species beta, not spiders. Sorry, I'm talking nonsense. Oh, it's something I had in a dream, I think. Or, or so.
Bunch of health. Ooh, weapon. Downside of EDF bit pricey? It It is a little bit, yeah. It's often on sale though, EDF 5. Or uh, EDF 4.1, if you want to pick that up for cheap one day. EDF 5 will probably be on sale eventually, but if it's anything like 4.1, it won't be on sale for like years, and then it'll just be on sale all the time. But, that in mind, EDF 5 is by far the superior game. EDF 4.1 does a few things different, but the quality of life in 5 is too good to ignore. Happy New Year, Closet Yeti and Chat. Hey, blah blah. Thank you very much. Happy New Year to you as well. Tier 1, 21 months. Much appreciated. How you doing? How you been? Hope all's well with you. Let me get rid of this building. A little bit in the way, I think. Must get closer. They keep dropping monsters. We know the monsters are everywhere. I guess you can't just run through stuff. Must be a uh, support equipment, right? That you can put on that allows you to run through things. Been really busy at work, but that's normal in the winter. Otherwise, good. How you doing? I'm doing pretty great. Yeah, no problem. We were ambushed by the enemy and suffered great loss. The ravages of war have spread all over the world and are even getting more serious. It is unfortunate that we were heavily stricken by the enemy at our first battle. But we are not lost yet. The most urgent matter at hand is that our people are still in danger. We must pull ourselves together and start our counterattack. The EDF shall rise again, and the time is now! Civilian, <laughs> this time I will definitely take you to a safe place. If yes. there really is such a place. Can I file a complaint? Do your best. Yes. Sounds good. <laughs> Can I file a complaint? Do your best. Sounds good. <laughs> nice. <laughs> SGN7 upgrade for the Mini Buster, upgrade for the MG11. NP3A sniper rifle. The Mini Buster, more damage, higher rate of fire, or more capacity, more damage, higher rate of fire. Much better reload time, accuracy still C, plus. shot speed increase, range increase. Yeah, it's getting up there. Just a, just a shotgun. Uh, NP3A. A three-round burst. Not a big fan of the burst fire, usually. Burst fire sniper rifle may or may not be okay. Usually not a fan of the burst fire stuff. The MG11J, 10-second fuse. 724 damage, though. 0.3. 10 stars. The finale of it, 724.3. Strange. Very strange. Gonna head out, it's late now, and work tomorrow. See you, chat and Getty. Twilight Duck, good to see you. Have a good one, thanks for stopping in. Take it easy. And the grenade launcher, UM1J, four capacity, 1.6 rate of fire, not great. 170 damage, eight meter blast radius detonates after four seconds, accuracy D. This thing is garbage currently. This is unusable, I think. <laughs> that looks terrible on paper, but it's all low star, except capacity. Ugh. NPC three? For what now? Just in general, the NPC three? Oh, that's the one with the eye accuracy. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, gotcha. NPC three. Later variant with an eye accuracy. That's in that's insane. What? Why? 
Depth Crawler 1, easier to re-request, from 5,470, which is quite a lot, down to 4,000, a bit more manageable. For scale, anything under a couple hundred is like kind of instant a bit. So like a 1 to 2,000, a small clutter of, of aliens. So let's go back to Fencer. I think we go with the Vibro Hammer F3. You know what? Let's try let's try two Vibro Hammers together. Why not? The shotgun's a bit too terrible currently to consider, but that's okay. We can go with the heavy cannon and uh and arm hound. Or a double arm hound. You know what? Double arm hound. It's not the best weapon currently, but let's go for it. Why not? Defect cell and the V1 skeleton, that's all we've got, I think. Yo, that's it. All right. Jesus Christ, dude, he's so ready. <laughs> Wedge of destruction, damn, monsters are here too. The citizens are in danger, exterminate the monsters. This will probably be the last mission before I head out for the day. But I'll be back tomorrow. Oh my god. But I can start charging while the other one's attacking. They don't go in sync quite perfectly, but pretty close. Alright, sure. Just the uh, slightly charged shots. Yeah, all right. I mean, we can give it a give it a go. A bit wild, but sure. Keep in mind, this thing's got like a 200 meter range when it's fully charged, something like that. Smash! I mean, it kills him. And then the arm hound. It works. I don't know how to take out a pylon though. That that's a bit of a trick. I mean, this one I can climb up and smash down. But I th I think <laughs> I think we might have a bit of a problem otherwise though. Oh shit! I don't even know if I can get up. Oh, I have an idea though. He does a bit of a jump when he uh, starts swinging. So maybe we can use the hammer swing if I don't die. Clear the area, guys. Come on. I need a little bit of help here. Just a bit's all I ask. You say you'll back me up. Can you get up there? Because I don't think this jump's enough. Oh god, I'm stuck on that. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so we can't actually make it up there and slam down. So what we'd have to do is lock on to a spider with the arm hound in such a way <laughs> that we just naturally fire the, the rockets into this thing. Yeah. So let's change our equipment. <clears throat> Ahem. Um, Hammer. It it works. It does work. Let's go with a couple of heavy cannons, though. I think. I'm keeping the arm hounds. You can't make me take those away. It does lock onto the pylon, but just the one time.
So you shoot just one mid- it'd be so slow going. <laughs> it would eventually work though. Yeah. Ugh, <sighs> these fucking things, holy shit. Eh. <sighs> Out of the way, damn it. It's a great weapon for pylons. We took that out in no time. It's the type of gun that you'd have mounted on like a on a ship or something though. Jesus Christ. <laughs> just just a little bit more, tone it down. Soldier, being a yes. soldier is awesome. Yes, you'll receive a pension. Yes, you don't need to worry about your life after retirement. Yes. But you will be disappointed by the amount of the death gratuity. Yes. Save me! Save me! If we don't destroy the pylons, wait, the monsters will take wait, I got an angle. Yeah. <laughs> God, the fencer is heavy. So heavy. But you get suit upgrades down the road that reduce the um, like the amount of inertia and all that stuff from from swinging some weapons around, and your general momentum is relaxed a lot. Makes it a lot more tolerable. The random statements and response system in it is just tremendous. That's my favorite thing. It's just the the garbage that they say sometimes. Oh god, the civilians though. I can't wait for them to all totally not die. Out of the way, lady. Coming through. Eliminated, let's call it a day. <laughs> Where at? Oh, way down there. Oh, God. Uh. Also quite easy as the air raider being able to just, like, call down uh, focus cannon blasts on pylons and all that. They're also great for this. Save me! Save me! That fence is gone. That really doesn't have much drop to it, does it? That car's gone. The data showed the moment when numerous flying objects showed up on the Earth's orbit. The data record was so shocking that everyone at the press conference, including journalists, were speechless. Now, journalists from all around the world are shouting at EDF headquarters, and it's chaotic on the scene. Make it end! I can't believe we are fighting aliens! This is just... unbelievable! I'm totally fine with it. I saw the flying saucers with my own eyes. So I have to accept it. Damn it. Uh, I wish I had more help, aside from screaming civilians.
Ugh. Here they go again. Get me away from the civilians at least. If <laughs> nothing else. I don't want to help them and save them. No. You can't make me. No. Actually, while you dick around over there, I'm going to work on this. Because it'll just spawn more otherwise. And I can take it out pretty quickly. Bam. This did not pierce, right? Oh, there's that one too. Perfect. Now there are numerous people crowding at the EDF headquarters, and it's chaotic on the scene. Not only the press, but many citizens have gathered here. There are people questioning the announcement, asking about EDF's plans or seeking protection. We can hear requests turning into yelling everywhere. You'd think that I'll be dead by now. What? Excuse me, car, no way. There it goes. What the fuck, you little cheap sedan. Come on. <sighs> Vibro Hammer F3 upgraded, the arm on upgraded as well. And an add booster plus one, good. And the robot bomb upgraded too. A Vibro Hammer F3, more damage? Yeah, just more damage. The charge speed also slightly increased. The arm hound rate of fire increased, reload time decreased by a good amount. 3.3 down from 4.7. Getting there. The add booster one consecutive boosts two. And horizontal boost speed 110. So if I got something that gives me a dash, I can now dash twice in a row with that. And ladies and gentlemen, the free bike for the Ranger. 20,000 fuel, fuel cost 1.666, durability 330, we were cost 4,786 points. Got a couple of machine guns though. The robot bomb, faster reload time, lock on times faster, down from 0 0.08 seconds on to 0 0.06 seconds, I, I don't think I'll notice. And uh, I guess I got to check out the free bike before we go. We'll check out the free bike before I go. Mm. Capacity 7, rate of fire 6 per second. Oof. Stick with the Grant and Minion Buster, I guess. Let's go back for... Um, what mission would work for this? I guess this still works. There's the exit. You need to do a little bit to actually unlock it. You don't start with a free charge with everything in this. It's only half charged.
but it shouldn't be too long and we can uh, use it. Who turns on the radio just to scream anyway? Like, I don't get that. <laughs> Time for revenge. Nobody knows how to reload their weapon. <laughs> Guns jamming and they run out of bullets. Uh, free bike, go! It's acid! It's bloody acid! Somebody help her! Don't be afraid! Our combat suits are acid resistant! Oh no! Help! This is Yoda 3. Commencing initiation procedure. Free bike! It tips over immediately. Are you sure you hit it? The magazine is empty. You're good. What should I do? Holding W, it stays straight. Give me a sip rep. Where is the second lieutenant? Machine gun left and right fire together. You know, it's actually usable, this thing. It's like perfectly usable. There it goes. You gotta really try. <laughs> you gotta really try to fly off this one. This one's actually usable. Which is a weird thing to say about a motorcycle in this game. It's like, wow, I can actually use this one. Really, <laughs> really gives the SDL uh, one a uh, <laughs> a special place. Oof, those tires are tough. Does this also take damage from? Um, oops. Does that also take damage from hitting terrain? It looked like it might have. It's painful. Yeah, it's a it's a rocket. Such a tiring All units, get in position. It takes damage from rockets, yeah, I can confirm that. Sequence has reached final phase. Situation is terrible. Keep the monsters away from Yes, as per video and meme bank. Okay, good. Because I love in 4.1, the SDL is the only motorcycle. Not only is it uncontrollable, but it's also the only vehicle in the entire game that takes damage from terrain. So. <laughs> Not only are you just sliding around into all the things, but it's also destroying itself because of that. My first use with it, I popped the wheelie, flipped over, and it exploded on landing on the ground. From flipping. <laughs> That's it. I'd be like, I forget to hitch up my motorcycle, and it just explodes when it tips over. Is this true? What if we're wrong? Oops. It's Zed for the summon, and I ought to rebind that to something else. I want to actually use it to mow down some ants. There have been accounts of UFO sightings everywhere across the globe. And this time, the UFOs aren't just moving flashes of light caught on camera. 
According to eyewitnesses, they saw flying objects made of metal. For now, the identity of these objects remains unclear. Since there are reports of sightings coming from everywhere, it is speculated that there are multiple UFOs flying in different areas. I almost held it. Incoming monsters! But it didn't already hurt itself, so that's good. But you notice in vehicles... You get a nice pickup range with everything, so it's always cool to have like a troop transport or something that's quick to motor around fast and loot all the things. Yeah. This is Yoda too, ready to fight some monsters. Watch out for those rocks there. God knows what that'll do to me. Well, I'm surprised it's usable. I expected so much worse. I mean, look at us, Galbert. No one thing's getting loot. Ignore the mechs I got on my flank, help and protect. Ah, we're doing cool tricks. We're flinging off because barrels don't actually really just fly away. That ain't bad. It's a little bit... a little bit bad. I expected worse though, for sure. I've I've seen things. God, I just missed it. But hey, Fencer got an Ion Mirror Shield at least, so there's that. Not a lot of durability, 4.9 second reload. Defense angle only 57 degrees, mitigate 70%. Physical reverse range of 5 radius. Reversal durability drop, 1.25%. Defense angle is smaller because of its size. Deflector performance is high with its fast activation, easy to deploy with the proper timing. Sure, so this is just all about just reflecting then. Fine, fair enough. A version with rockets? Oh, I don't know. No idea. I don't know much about the ranger's equipment. I know they get some of the uh, the helicopters that I would have liked to have had as an air raider, and I think they get the ambulance thing and all that. God damn it! But oh uh, well. Need a grenade into orbit like you could in 4.1? Yes. Yes, there are some grenades that you can throw very, very, very far. EDF logistics trucker game. Oh, that'd be great. That'd be so good. Just carting stuff around with these ridiculous vehicles. 